haven't clicked yet, but we're taking a spontaneous trip to New Brunswick. It's going to be about a 20 hour drive. We decided yesterday pretty much that we're going and uh, we're going to go visit my sister. It's kind of the beauty of van life is you can just pick up and go. Dan, you excited? Big smile. <laughs> Since we're swimming the ocean. Yeah. Season goes on the brink with our personality. So different from the rest, it boggles my mind. She loves to bar, she loves to drink, and my heart begins to sink. Every time her image runs across my mind. And all these parties are the same in my sober state of fame, but it outwork completely different. Oh, so for a little stretch, how you feeling, babe? So sore, man. Six, Six hours in, almost in Montreal, two hours left. Mm. Surviving. Long drives, there's something about them. They're actually like, they take a lot of energy, man. Oh. We got some uh, exciting news in Montreal, so we're excited to get there. Should we go? Yeah, Zenny. Zenny. He's so cute. Zenny's first big travel. Zenny's first travel. So happy. <laughs> oh, shit. I was meant to do a time lapse, but we're back on the road. Go! Excuse me, sorry. Boo! <laughs> the next day, we just drove. Zen! Excuse you! Where is she? Hey, get back in the van. Get back in the. No, no. Bye, Zen! Bye! Bye. Zen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't go. Anyway, we spent the night just outside Montreal, this nice little rest area. Boo. Super quiet, man. We had an amazing sleep. Because we were getting really tired, probably like 9, 10 hours of driving yesterday. And we got probably another nine or ten hours of driving today. Last night, that place we went to was Sushi Momo. We didn't really explain it, but last year when we went to Montreal, if you remember, we got denied at this restaurant I twice. Bed, no, that was my we had a reservation twice, and we couldn't get in two different nights. And it was like the one place we definitely wanted to go to. So we got to go last time, last night, and it was amazing. So good. All vegan sushi all night. Oh. <laughs> nice fan, baby. Well, Fernando, time to get back on the road because we're New Brunswick bound. I'm just gonna go down. Let reality alleviate your story Before every thought I had to date heavily Let you wait around these ravenous stores To take advantage of the sober state of We just arrived to St. Andrews, which is uh, our destination here in New Brunswick. And first thing we see is a flock of freaking deer just running in people's yards. Oh, hilarious. Wow. Your destination will be on the left. Holy damn shit, Tina, we made it. 
That's the ocean. 20 hours of driving later. <laughs> You're leggy. Hi. Trying to chase all the wild deer around here. Don't chase the deer, Zanny. Leave the deer alone. Ooh, what's she up to back there? Stop secret vlogging me. Listen, I'm only vlogging as an outro for this vlog. So if you can't tell, there's some crazy things going on in the back of this van. So if you guys aren't in Tecumseh Park this weekend for Art in the Park to come see the van, come see Tina's art. I don't know, man. I don't know what you're up to. Anyways, thank you guys for watching day one of our trip to New Brunswick. It was pretty crazy, a long ass drive, and it felt great to finally arrive. There's so much more content coming, so make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of these vlogs. It gets pretty fun, man. New Brunswick was so beautiful. Just subscribe. I promise you will not regret it. And uh, have a beautiful night, day, life. Uh, go follow Tina on Instagram at Tina Nams. And uh, bye.